Hello and welcome, welcome, ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome twice. Uh, Fusier Christoph, 926 MMR. I mean, we're just, we're just diving right now in terms of MMR. We did win one followed by losing one, but that loss was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm the most frustrated I have been in terms of the game, but I'm not frustrated at the game. I'm just missing something. So now that we're going up against somebody who's lower elo, like I feel like I need to avoid storm callers, but I love the speed specialist too much that it overrides that. Every time I play storm callers, they get beaten by missile interceptors that I just can't seem to break through anymore. And I don't even feel like I'm over invested in storm callers. They just I just can't make them work for me. Um, this is the exact combination I played last round and lost, except I'm not running the control supply control specialist this time. So, maybe that will be enough to kind of flip the script. I'm up against an aerial specialist. And we're heavy on the ground game right now. So, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to do a like flat alignment this time. He went for some wasps. He's an air specialist. I have no anti-air. So, that seems good. I think that uh, I almost never go for uh, Mustangs, but against Wasp, I feel like Mustang is the play or anti-air uh, arc lights. I don't actually hate the idea of anti-air arc lights, actually. I grabbed them last time. They do scale pretty well against what they have. It is a kind of crummy tech thing to buy, but these like wasps will be better uh, at beating me than if I buy like Mustangs or something. Like I need an AOE anti-air. And I love the idea of getting armor on my arc lights, and I love the idea of getting anti-air on my arc lights. The two things that really would go to town on this guy. So I need some anti-air. Okay, subsidized Mustangs means that we have to go Mustangs after all. All of that talk, and I need to go Mustangs because um, he's going to go Mustangs, and Mustangs are a good counter, and they're fast, and it's just it just makes too much sense not to go Mustangs if you're going to give me subsidized Mustangs. So he's also going to go for some Mustangs. That's fine. We still have Arc Lights. I still think that Armored Arc Lights will go hard for us. He also has the ability to move these units, so if I buy more Mustangs, I'll have to put them on the core. But for now, I think armored arc lights will be fine. In fact, I might even be able to get level twos, but I doubt it. It might be a little too expensive. Let's see. Oh wait, I was going flat, wasn't I? Um, yeah, so the Anti-air is really slow against these wasps because they did get to level 2 in that first round. Again, though, I think that we're okay. I think that we have some anti-air now, and it did go in the right place. Next is time to go for some arc lights that will just tank all of this Mustang shenanigans. Heavy armor, I think, works well for later. That or barrier. How much is armor? 150. Then this and this. 300, 400, 400 plus 150. I think I can just grab the armor. It's fine. Then recruit level twos. Armor and upgrade this one to level two. Um, putting an armor on one of these units feels like it sucks, but I could always sell a mustang or an arc light to put it on a giant it's not really something i'm fond of doing but like because i don't really buy sales very much okay here's the phoenix so more uh more crawlers might make sense maybe we'll see arc lights are certainly <clears throat> going to town right now the introduction of Phoenix does mean that more Mustangs will be warranted, okay? Because we they are very hard for Phoenix to deal with because there's lots of them. 
so it takes a long time to chew through them. And they do a decent work. I mean, if I give them aerial specialization and just say, look, your goal is to take out the air units against this air specialist, I think we're in. So, what's next? Junior manufacturing for non-giant units is so goaded. I wanted anti-air, but it can wait. We're gonna get another squad of you. It is so close to us getting it. No, I just can't. Another squad of you, and another squad of you. And I don't know, he could always warp to the flank. So because these Phoenix are right centered, let's put these guys here. And let's get our techs. Damage and health. He went for what, level twos? No, one additional purchase. So he's going for lots of Mustangs. He also got a junior manufacturing specialist. I want him to buy as many Mustangs as possible because my level two arc lights will do work, okay? I really believe it. They're gonna get all that damage. I mean, a Mustang does literally 56 damage. So even at level two, my level two arc light will take no damage from them. Here comes the anti-air from the Mustangs. We have some level twos at this point. And then with the anti-air specialization, um, it increases their attack range by 30 when attacking aerial. And it increases attack against air. So like both of those are really sick. Um, mobilized battleship, no. Proton emissions, maybe. Charged ammo. Electromagnetic interference? I don't know that that's so important. How much is this damage upgrade? 50% more. I mean, it's still zero, dude. I might just grab the healing thing if I do end up going for a tank unit here in the future. Let's buy anti-air. Let's buy you and I should have bought level two units from the start but we can get two more arc lights right just armored boys doing armored boy things and yeah anti-air specialty there I mean we could have gotten that guy at level two so I'm a little bit sad about it Okay, steel balls. I don't think that that's a big deal for us. We don't really have much single target attack, but like, I don't know, I think that's fine. Right now we have enough kind of crap units for him to attack that they'll take forever to eat through all these Mustangs, right? No, maybe? He's got some on each flank, actually. I thought he only had them in the center. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's good for him, I guess. I mean, he did the thing. Here he comes. He's losing a whole bunch of them. I mean, basically, that's a good counter, I have to say. Now, I feel like a fortress, despite being a giant unit, is pretty good at saying no uh, to steel balls and saying, don't go away. Um, a Rhino's counter, I mean, a bunch of Fangs are t typically really good against it as well. I feel like Fangs, though, would get ruined by these things. Elite Hackers. Elite Hackers are interesting. They cost 350 But I could get Extended Range. And buy another one. I feel like this is interesting, you know? Like I feel like they could uh, they could do something and I could get the, I could end up getting them the shield tech or something, but we'll see. Uh, I think most important things to upgrade is a frontline arc light and then I can't do you or you. Okay, never mind. I should have done a different thing. Healing on a hacker. I mean, hackers don't have a tremendous amount of health. I think I want to save that in case I do get a giant, but I do have a junior manufacturing specialist, so we'll see. 
he went for a ton of steel balls okay so i don't know if getting range upgrade makes sense this is multiple control which i think is the other tech that if you go for hackers is like especially against this kind of thing so here we go doing little hacks here and there trying to get them to laser different things because here they're lasering my arc lights in a way that i don't like maybe i should have just gotten my arc lights um elite marksman or something yeah multiple control would have been the play there i think extended range is certainly good okay we don't hate that one bit the fact that we're gonna potentially get their base the timing i think will be off and I probably won't have any anti-air left. Yeah, his units are just so much faster. Come on, boys. Yes, please. Anti-air. 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 I want to see it. I want to see it. Anti-air. Let's go. Hacker. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Okay, that's funny. It's funny, but I don't didn't win senior attack I mean you gotta go senior attack then we go a bunch of upgrades because our boys deserve it multiple control is 450 but you gotta do it and then what a couple of rear arc lights or something Or a couple of rear crawlers. I guess that's fine. And then I think I have enough left for all the rest of the upgrades as well. Um. Yeah, if I had given you the healing thing, you would have survived last time. Okay, he's got freaking overlords. This is the thing right we have anti-air specialty but we need more okay we're hacking we're hacking the front line hacking the front line confuses them right we're confusing them by taking over a lot of the front line i mean it's working on this side and this side it's it's really screwing up their steel balls by a ton so there's a chance, okay? There's a chance, right? They just lost their base. Hacking has been canceled. We, they canceled Christmas on us, boys. But and they're shoot, we're shooting their air. Okay, the missile shooting is good at a counter, but there goes their base, baby. Oh God, thank God. Thank God we're still in it. Level three hacker, let's go. Okay, I do feel like I still need more anti-air. I'm just gonna go super heavy armor here. And maybe I go super heavy armor on like a fortress? No, you know what? I feel like not a fortress. I feel like you just get a, uh, like a Helion or something, right? I don't know, he's going air right now, right? So, like, what should I be doing? I should probably be getting, like, a phoenix. And on that phoenix, I should be buying rank twos. And then if I spend 50 bucks, I can get another one. And then this guy here can just be really strong. And now we have a bunch of single target monsters that I'll just kind of evenly space, I think. Try and keep them out. And there we go. He's got flamers. Interesting. Super interesting. I don't know. Maybe more... Like I, I keep thinking, oh, if we go Mustangs, that'll kill their wasps. He only got the one wasp squadron. He'll probably... He got the production facilities on his overlords. That missile is going to be annoying. Thankfully, it only hit this guy and not my hacker. My hacker, man. Okay. I mean, again, the hacking is good at throwing things off. Okay. 
We've got a lot of their steel balls there. We're getting a lot of anti-air. I don't really know how. Clearly the, the Phoenix did a thing. We're hacking their high level boys here. Phoenix on the base. Oh my god, we even hacked their Vulcan. That's going to be damaging. Man, hackers. Sometimes you got to remember what's in the toolkit, alright? Knowing that the hackers are in the toolkit. What the hell? <laughs> How did we do that? We actually won a game against somebody who is less than a thousand ELO rated. How do we manage? How do we do it? I don't know. Man, give me one MMR, please. Thank you. How am I fighting so hard? <laughs> Getting nothing. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.